Hey friend, welcome to Ask Dr. Betters. Periodically, I will mention to you a ministry that we call Anchored Hope Biblical Counseling. Anchored Hope is a outreach of Mark Inc. Ministries, and it is a ministry that has all over the country well-trained biblical counselors who are there to help you with some of the more intense questions that you have. The one I'm gonna talk about today is, is one of those questions. I wanna encourage you to seek counseling online through Anchored Hope. You can download our app, which is called Help and Hope. Help and Hope. Just go to your favorite app store, download Help and Hope, and there you can make an appointment to uh, for one, one of our biblical counselors to walk you through whatever you're struggling with. But listen to this question. Since the heartache here, Paulina says, does God punish people with demons? Because I've been very confused lately and suffering greatly with theology and the Bible and who God is. And I also believe I have demons and I'm in need of deliverance. However, I have cried out to God to help me, but he doesn't. I believe God is using demons to punish me. It's so bad that I can't even pray or read the Bible in peace. I feel there is something really evil and strong in my spirit, but God is allowing them to torment me, to punish me. I know I sin. I know that uh, I'm relentless day after day and it's overwhelming, but I just can't feel peace or rest. I have tried coming to Christ and be saved, but I don't believe what I did was effective. Either I have yet to be saved or God didn't choose me for salvation. I wasn't predestined. I'm suffering a great deal and especially feeling and seeing that God, Jesus, doesn't love me. Well, that's tragic, Paulina, that you feel that way. Several times throughout your question, you show me that God is very much in control of your life. When you say like, uh, uh, I have trouble reading the Bible or praying, or God doesn't seem to love me, I tried being saved, and all those things. When you say those things, that indicates to me that your heart wants Christ. Your heart wants Him. But something is hindering you. And for some reason, you've decided to blame that on God. You see, just as much as God wants me, Satan wants me too. Just as much as God wants you, Satan wants you too. We read about that in the first chapter of Job, where God gave Satan permission, and he has to give permission for Satan to do his thing, to try to hurt us in order to separate us from the love of God. I think Satan is achieving that in you. He's separating you from feeling and experiencing the love of God so that you will then turn around and blame God for your own sinfulness. But I think you know that. I think the fact that you know that you have sinned, that you know you're having trouble studying the scriptures and praying and, and doing the things that you need to do to give your life to Christ, the fact that you know that tells me that the Holy Spirit is drawing you to himself through whatever difficult circumstances you're facing. But rest assured of this, Satan has no power over the Spirit of God who's drawing you. Satan's a bully, and that's what he wants to do to you, bully you out of believing that God loves you. Yet God has proven his love for you. Did Satan die on a cross to forgive your sins? Did Satan die, die on a cross and rise from the dead? Did Satan uh, create the world in, in six days? Did Satan create the heavens and the earth? Did Satan create you? He did none of that. He's a hoax, an imposter, and a bully. That's why when you draw yourself toward Christ, Satan runs away. Draw nigh unto God, the scripture tells us, and he will draw an eye unto you. But just as he will draw an eye unto you, Satan will run.
Because when you put Christ in front of you, Satan is afraid of that. He can't bully Christ. No, God does not punish us with demons. God delivers us over to our own sinful actions. And we punish ourselves with demons. We punish ourselves with evil. He just delivers us over to it so that when we're in sin and misery, we might be drawn to the cross to see the love of God, to see how he loves us versus how Satan hates us. So no, Satan does not have the power to just enter your life without permission. And the only permission he can get is by you, you granting him access to your heart and to your soul. That's why I would encourage you to get some counsel. You need some on-hands help. I want to encourage you to contact us through Anchor at Hope Biblical Counseling. You can do that right through the app, which is called Help and Hope. You need to rest in Christ. You need to, you need to stop Satan from just numbering your sins, pointing out the evil that exists in you. We're all born that way. We're all born with that nature that's anti-God. That's why we need Christ. That's why he came to die for us. You don't know whether or not you've been predestined. Nobody knows that. Not even Satan. He doesn't know that. Only God knows that. And he will use a variety of circumstances and events in your life to draw you to understand the cross. So keep praying. Keep reading the scriptures. Keep talking about this with people who can help you. And I know God will bless. Hope this helps. Hi, my name is Melissa Weisenfels, Executive Director here at Mark Inc. Ministries. Thank you so very much for your continued support of this video series. Ask Dr. Betters is not meant to be a substitute for professional counseling, but instead is designed to extract biblical principles around the questions being asked. We encourage you to seek professional counseling if needed.